good afternoon from sunny California. I'm in San Diego and I'm doing something exciting today. So right now in Southern California, it's peak lobster season. I'm gonna go try my luck tonight at uh, getting some lobsters. I know a lot of you have been asking in the comments where the heck has all the outdoor stuff been? Well, uh, uh, not outdoor stuff, where, where specifically has the fishing been? Um, and to that I answer, I've been trying. Uh, I went out on a bluefin tuna charter the other day and didn't catch anything. I've been trying to uh, go fishing from shore here a couple different times with people and haven't had much luck. But this lobster thing seems like it's been pretty hot recently, and it's something that I've done in the past, and it's been a lot of fun, so. One of my friends hit me up yesterday, and he was like, yo, you can come be an observer on a boat that I'm gonna be on, like, buy your ticket for like 25 bucks. So I said, that sounds awesome. I did put my name in, however, to see if I can uh, get on the fishing list, to see if somebody cancels. But we'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna run to the marina right now to get my license. If nothing else, get my observer pass. Where were you the day it all went? Before we get on the boat, I need to thank the sponsor of today's video, Hopper. I'm not gonna lie, travel can definitely be stressful sometimes, but with Hopper, it doesn't have to be. As long as you can understand colors, you can know if you're getting a good deal or not. Green means good deal. Red means more expensive. If you're trying to plan a trip to a specific location, you can actually set notifications so when a good deal pops up on that specific trip, you get notified and you can book your tickets right then. Hopper will work for you 24 seven so you don't have to sit behind your computer and just wait for a good deal to pop up. Once Hopper finds you the best price, you can use the price freeze feature and hold that price and check out when it's convenient for you. Which means if the price goes up, you'll still get the lowest price. I've personally used Hopper and I've found really cheap tickets from Minneapolis to LAX. I found a one-way ticket for like $70, which is pretty awesome. So on top of saving you a bunch of money, Hopper also has a reward-based program called Carrot Cash, which you can actually get 10 free dollars if you click the link in my description below and get $10 off your next hotel. Start booking your travel cheaper with Hopper. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the pre prepaid program. All right, I'm running a little bit late right now, but I'm at the uh, landing right now trying to find my charter. I gotta go buy a license quick and I've gotta try to be on the boat before uh, 6 p.m. Doesn't leave me much time. Alright, you're all set. Alright, thank you very much. All set. Ooh, it's a big boy. Yeah. I always forget the memo to wear my rubber boots. Alright, so unfortunately or fortunately we got a full boat. Uh, I am a bystander, so I'm going to be sharing that hoop with Matt. This is called a hoop. Essentially, it's just a bunch of webbing that, when it's lifted up, it traps all the lobsters in it. You got little blinking buoys on these things, they're floating. There's ten hoops on here, so one for each person that's fishing. Matt's been kind enough to let me share his hoop with him, so uh, I do get to pull in a couple times today, and people have been getting limits, so like I said before, hopefully we can uh, get some lobster. Hey, what's the lobster limit? Is it three or four? Seven. Seven per person? Seven? Okay, that's a lot more than I thought it was. What do you got for bait in here right now? Sardines. Sardines? Roger. Got so fresh today. Got fresh sardines in there. This is like a little bait puck, little holes in it, so the lobsters can't get the meat out of there but they can smell it. And then this hoop, when you pull it up, it like kind of traps them in there. Can you explain that better than I can? <laughs> no, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that, yeah, hooping. You been doing this for a while? Uh, I can actually fish off the last uh, Nice. Doing this nice. Alright, so 
so like I said in the line we got one, two, three, four. Uh, there's like seven that way and then there's three this way, so we got ten in total. Alright, now that we got all the hoops set, apparently we just get to tie up next to the dock here and all we gotta do is wait. You're gonna let me pull the first one? Alright folks, so the way it's gonna work, whoever's pulling is gonna be standing up here in the center. Once you get that line in your hand, start pulling. Try to pull steady, don't try to pull super fast. When the pot breaks the surface, you're gonna feel it come out of the water. Give it one more good pull, then just come to a stop. We'll grab the rope. Once we grab the rope, please let go of the rope, step back, and let us deal with the pot. But then again, we've been seeing a lot of six, eight pound lobster out here lately, the last couple days, so. Oh, that's huge. We get some big ones. We get some big ones. Six to eight pounds. Now, all of those little flashing lights out there, those are all lobster hoops. The blue, the green. Hey, thank you again. Let's get it. Great technique. Great form. Show me the money. Right here between the horn. Very eh, short. <laughs> Make sure it's on that horn, like the inside of that part. Yeah, no, no, short. Bye, buddy. Very short. Very short. Yep, short. Too Bye. Short. Too short. Oh, he's got good form. Come on, Maverick. Right, stop, let go. Ooh, he might have one. Go, yeah. It's a little guy. Shoot, first one down. Uh, that one sounds thick. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's a nice Ooh. one right there. All right, number eight. Oh, wow. Oh, big, boy. big boy. Ooh. All right, eight pulls in. We've got four keepers. It's looking pretty good so far. I mean, Started off our show, but it's promising. Slack tight too. Yeah, yeah, we're slack tied right now, so it's not, not, not like a great time to be getting lobster. But same thing with fishing; you just want like water moving. You know, when current moves, that means that they can find the bait easier. So. All right, so we just finished the first set. Um, we're just pulled back up at the dock now. Hopefully, on one of these ten poles, we get some more legals. Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa! Quesadilla! Throwing it down. Captain throws it down. Throwing it down. We'll see. Yeah. No lobster, no video. That's what I'm okay? saying. No lobster, no video. No lobster, I go hungry tonight. <laughs> no, Matt. Yeah, there we go. Uh, just under. Come on. Barely nothing, huh? Uh, no video. No video. What do we got? Five guys out here? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. fat dog. Nice. Maybe? That's, that's a keeper. Uh, There's one. Uno? Finally got a keeper. Got one? Yeah. yeah. So, all right. There's our two bugs. This was the one that I got. Here's the one that Matt pulled. Not much to show for uh, like four hours out here, but at least we got two. We, there's only 13 caught for the boat and one guy got five. So we're feeling pretty thankful for these two. The only thing that's left to do is figure out how to clean this thing and bring it back to the truck. It's like 11.30 at night right now, so this is gonna be some late night lobster for me. Hey, I'll take it easy. Good yeah, job tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look how beautiful these things are. It's so funny. There's two lobsters hanging out in there. Look at this lobster. So much tail meat, dude. There you go. Two fresh lobby tails. The reason I'm having it is because I don't really have a pot that's gonna be big enough to cook this whole tail evenly so we're gonna have it say a little prayer
Ooh, it's hot. Thought I'd leave some without the mayonnaise on it. Holy shit, that's good. Apparently, the East Coast and the West Coast don't mesh very well because finding New England style lobster roll buns was damn near impossible, but this is the closest thing to a split top bun that I found. These are brioche buns, and they're made for baby hot dogs. But these things look dang good, minus that the buns are definitely too small. I know everybody's been giving me crap that I need to get a <coughs> food tray or something, and I guess you wouldn't be wrong. Look at that thing. Might have gone a little crazy with the mayo, but we'll see. Wow. I've made lobster rolls before with a... Uh, burbot so it technically wasn't lobster they don't even compare to these this is so awesome spiny lobster in my opinion the warm water lobsters taste better than the uh the main lobsters but maybe i'll have to take an east coast trip and compare creamy a little bit of bite from that lemon some celery and chive in there give it a little crunch it is officially 1 22 a.m there's nothing quite like having a late night snack and freshly caught lobster. I don't think it gets any fresher than this. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Like a big baby. And I still have a whole tail left to eat. Thank you, Matt. He didn't want it. I don't know why he didn't want it. I tried I tried to send him off with it. This is like super past my bedtime. You guys know I go to bed at like ten usually. So this is very late night for me. It'll be interesting to see how uh Late I sleep in tomorrow, 55 degrees right now. And you can get this wonderful shirt at madmade.com. Good night. <laughs>